Hey guys, what is up the NeoCubist here? Welcome to episode 72 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. We got stuck underground, um, and the only helpful message I have is, uh, it says, what happened? And I opened it, it says, looks like you're stuck, lol. So that's not too helpful, but you know what? It's okay. We're underground, and we're going to be surviving. Uh, this is in my normal survival world. Do not worry, we have not strayed from our survival world. I just randomly plop myself underground with some starting materials in a chest and one tree. And uh, we've expanded a little bit, so if you missed the first little part of this series, it's going to be in episode 71, so go watch that, so that you're not lost. Anyways, welcome back. We're underground. We have some trees growing, which is a good thing. We also have some starter farms going. That's kind of nice. Uh, but basically, we just need to mine. We also need to get another iron pickaxe, because for some reason I just didn't craft one again. So let's get that going. Um, we're going to go symbolically throw these in the lava right now. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be mining a good bit in this episode. We really need to be. Um, I'll take these water. I'll take one water bucket with me because knowing me, I'll probably fall into the lava I'm trying to throw and dispose these pickaxes into. Uh, but we can hope for the best and expect the worst. No, I don't think that's a good way to live. <laughs> probably not at all. But we don't have food, so we're waiting on those little starter farms to grow. That's the fun thing about being underground. I also need to try and farm some dirt whenever I can. Um, and by farming dirt, I mean mining it whenever I see it, but it's going to be kind of a hard habit to break to just ignore it underground, but we really do need to harvest all that we can get. Um, but for now, we've moved on to a better world of iron. Goodbye. And goodbye. You will not be missed. Like seriously, you, you won't be missed at all. But it's okay. You know what? It's symbolic. So I hear either a zombie villager or something, but I, I stopped right here because I found something pretty exciting. I'm kind of, uh, kind of thrilled to get over here. We found a mine shaft. So these usually lead to some pretty good loot. And uh, being stuck underground, we're going to need all the help we can get. I'm really hoping for some melon seeds because I'd like to do automatic farms of every variant type. So like uh, carrots, which I don't have any of. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Uh, because carrots you can get from zombies and from these minecart chests, which is actually perfect that we found one. I really didn't plan any of this. I didn't really look at the area around where I dug out. I just found a spot to throw a... A chest with some sand in it because you also can't get sand underground um, and you know what I figure it's okay I, I have a lot of sand in my normal world and I won't I won't transfer the sand uh, over to there the normal part of my world at least I can get as much sand as I need um, but we're not really needing a too much coal right now so we'll just ignore that let's get into the mine shaft because me too I want to explore I hear hold on I hear just an insane amount of zombies. Okay, where is this? <laughs> Do you guys hear it? They're having a party without me, and I'm, I'm very sad I wasn't invited, but I'd like to come and break it up now. Um, where? Is it over here? I, re I really can't tell if it's above me or not. Okay, you guys hear that, right? I'm not going crazy. There's just an absolute ton of zombies somewhere. Ah, well, that's convenient. <laughs> okay, well, it's either they were this way or down, and uh, I thought they were above me. And it's funny that, oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, please don't blow up my sand, please. That is where my sand is. I didn't plan this. Ow. <laughs> I'm sorry, the truth came out right as I came. Oh, my God. Well, that's where all the zombies were. Um, so, surprisingly, I actually found exactly where I put the sand in the second episode. That was completely unintentional. I wasn't planning really to find it at any point, and I also had no idea how to get here. It was just completely random. I know it doesn't feel like it, but but it was. It, it really was. My home was near this dungeon, um, which is kind of helpful once I, you know, actually want to enchant things. I'm going to never be able to catch up with this iron sword. I can't kill them quick enough. Okay, guys. Come on. It's mainly the baby I'm worried about. The big ones, they're kind of they're kind of easy. Okay. Don't spawn more, please. 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 Okay, cool. So, I did find this dungeon really close to where I dug out that little hole with the tree in it, and I decided to give us some sand. <laughs> you guys are probably like, "Neo, why do you need this much sand?" Uh, well, to be honest with you guys, you can't get sand underground unless you dig up under an ocean, and I don't want to get that close to the surface. Um, 
So, I don't really think this is cheating at all. I mean, kind of, like, that I found the dungeon, but that was the only thing that I had found underground. I, I didn't look at anything else. I didn't even know it was connected to anything. To be honest, I thought we might never find it, but looks like we did, which is good. Um, yeah, there was no chest in it, though, which is also good. Uh, basically, the only benefit we get is a zombie spawner, which we can actually make a mob farm out of. But I also want to just do a normal dark room underground, like a really, really big one. Either way. I digress. We need to get enchanted tools before we do any of that. And that won't be for quite a while. And I really don't want to get lost. So I'm being kind of conservative with my exploration here. I'm sorry. If I start going off in these mine shafts, I will 100% get lost. I mean, you guys you guys know. Mine shafts are notorious for getting lost in. Um, one thing I do want to do is stop this water right here. Because it's kind of a pain for me. And is that sand up there? I'm going to hold on here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's sand, and I'm pretty sure if we do anything with that water up there, it's going to expose the sun. So let's just not do that. Let's just uh, cut it off in the way we know how. There you go. Water, you are no more. You are out of business. For good. Um, and hopefully, oh, there's more water. I need to quit jumping into things without looking, because I'm going to get destroyed under here. Anything? No? More mine shafts. These mine shafts really are tricky, and I don't have food, so I can't really heal myself, so I, that's why I'm trying to be so, so careful, because I could really mess myself up under here. Where do you guys keep coming from, dude? There was nothing under here, and then all of a sudden, it's just like, zombie, zombie, zombie. Oh, well, there's gold. And a zombie, a villager zombie. I don't really have a way to save you yet, so I'm going to have to kill you. I hope you don't mind. I don't think he minded it at all. He was dead. He couldn't mind at all. Oh, well, there's a minecart chest. Good. We got lapis, which is, you know, helpful for the later game, so we'll gather it now, just so we don't have to worry about it so much. Um, oh, a name tag. That's actually pretty helpful. And uh, some rails. Ooh, nice. Ooh, and melon seeds. Yes, that's what I was most excited by. Everything else, eh. Uh, but that's actually pretty good. And we'll take, we'll take that. A free chest? Yeah, we'll take it. And then we got a little bit of gold here, uh, so I do want to do some sort of minecarts in here. I don't want to. I don't want to play this underground the same that I'd play like every other underground part of every other world. I kind of wanted to make it special and have like actual minecarts running through these, running through these underground areas. Maybe not in the actual underground uh, mine shaft. I don't really. I don't want to build in those. I feel like I would just get insanely lost. But let's go back because I want to see if any of my plants have grown so that we can actually start eating. That would be extremely helpful for me. I would like to be able to sprint so I can do sprint jumps and not worry about falling. I'm also going to make these a little bit bigger because uh, I am just kind of worried about... I'm kind of worried about all this and me dying. Uh, we'll break this. We'll break this. Uh, one thing about doing a minecart underground, I don't know why I was trying to use my shovel, but one thing about doing minecarts underground is that you can't really prevent everything from spawning, uh, namely creepers spawning on you and uh, destroying all of your love and all of your passions in one foul swoop. So we we got to be very we got to be very very careful here. Okay, let me dig this out. I don't know if you already got the hint, but I'm gonna start doing the minecart track right now because we don't really have anything else to do and I wanted to do some big projects in this underground area it's seriously gonna look so good like I really love building underground I said this in the last episode but I really do consider like of all places I can build I build the best underground uh, by far for me personally I'm not the best at building underground but I can build best underground if that makes sense it's always been my favorite spot it was where my first ever house in Minecraft was uh, well, to be fair, I guess that was dug into the side of a mountain, but still kind of the same thing, right? <laughs> Somewhat, yeah, maybe, a little. Okay, let's go grab some minecart track. We don't have a whole ton, actually, a lot less than I thought, but you know what? It's something to start. We also have no way to power the track. Never mind. <laughs> At some point, we'll start that. We have any trees? Good. Two trees. So this isn't like my house or anything. There's a bed here only because I had to set my spawn. Otherwise, I would just end up in a random area. Uh, but the reason I have these trees in a big room, this is not my house. I just needed an area to grow them. So I dug this out from what was given to the given from me, given to me from the start. Uh, wow, that's actually already grown. Okay. I'll really, really. When we're trying to when we're trying to multiply seeds, that's kind of a smack in the face. 
Uh, do we have any bones or anything? No, not really. No bones at all. We don't have redstone. I was going to start the minecart track, but really it's kind of an effort in vain because we don't have redstone. But I'll mine all these leaves because I really am worried about efficiency. And I'd like to be in a good position with oak saplings because I don't want to ever run out. So give me a moment. All right, well, we got three, a whopping three saplings. So I'm very, very excited about that. We have 13 accumulated, which is very good. Not as many as I'd like, but you know what? It's okay. Um, I don't want to expand the minecart track too much yet, but you know what? We're going to just start it, I guess. Um, it, it can only go to right here, but you know what? Dag nabbit, that's perfect. Okay, let me see. Let me see. What do we want to do that with? Maybe an oak. I know it's kind of expensive, but I kind of want to do it with an oak log as opposed to just doing something, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of bad. Uh, and then I think this needs to be a rail like this. And then we just have to do something like that and then slap a button on it, which we can make from our one oak plank we have here. Or one oak plank's block. And that works. So you can hop on the minecart, hop the, click the button and you're good. Uh, and then you know what? It's just going to look bad unless we do something like this. So we'll just top that with some slabs. Okay, so let's pretty this place up a little bit. I'll be honest with you, it looks extremely bad right now. There's really nothing here uh, at all. I don't have en en enough wood to really do all that much. Uh, but one thing I did want to get started with immediately uh, was just some grass in here. Because I just like grass. I think it's a nice block. It's definitely very helpful for us because we can um, get flowers for our bees. As well I did give myself a bee nest and two bees to start with because otherwise I would have never been able to get them because we're stuck underground so a lot of people I actually don't think anyone's gonna be like Neo you cheated be like yeah but <laughs> I have all those things in my other part of my world I just needed to I mean I didn't have spawn eggs but there's no way there's no other way to do this and that's the reason I did those things uh, okay so let's grab this grass block which we finally, I'm gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna place it. Perfect. And I wanna make sure that nothing is too dark in here. I don't want the grass to end up not spreading or something like that. Uh, we'll put the dirt under here, I guess. It doesn't really all matter all that much, but you know what? For me, it's gonna matter because I'll remember it. Let me finish breaking this entire floor out and replacing it with uh, dirt, which will hopefully spread into grass pretty soon. Uh, once I'm done with that, I'll come back and show you what it looks like, but it's just gonna look like this but all over all right well funnily enough we don't have enough dirt to finish this it's one thing you really genuinely do not ever expect to say but i need to go mine some dirt underground so it's not oh well there's some dirt right there but i really don't want to get that specific dirt vein because it's kind of in an important spot uh, but maybe there's another one around here somewhere it really is not something you're used to looking for it's something you just kind of ignore uh okay this looks good is it a big one no okay it's just too dirt oh you just fell a large distance to try to get me but look you didn't even get me so ha sucks to be you man okay let's find some dirt uh is there any dirt over here okay this is a uh, tricky <gasps> okay a little too tricky for my taste i need to not i need to not do that anymore okay we need these torches desperately uh, oh god, okay. Nope. No, 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 no. Okay out of here. We go. Oh, that was almost I need to realize my my health is so low. Okay. We just need to get out of here immediately <gasps> Please don't do that to me. Do not scare me like that. No, no, no. Oh <laughs> dude, That was the best block break of 2020. Okay. We got to get out of there before the zombie realizes there's another way to get to me <sighs> well, I didn't want to mine the dirt in the floor of our mine shaft, but it looks like that's going to be our only option for right now. I don't see any more dirt. Uh, did we not even make it down here? Yeah, I guess we started digging or, or breaking a path downwards and we were like, yeah, nah, I think I'm good. And I just never finished it. So let's just get down here. I don't know what's down here, but hopefully something good. Okay. Okay, come on. That's, that's right. Perfect. All right, anything gold coal nice we'll get you eventually but for now we're we're kind of set on resources at the moment i'm mainly just looking for dirt why is it so hard to find dirt when i feel like it's an extremely common occurrence underground i don't know but i really am just i'm at a loss for words i'm, I'm struggling to find dirt and i never thought i'd say that i really never thought i would 
Okay, let's block off this. And let's block off this waterfall too. Just so that we can get around here. Wow, there is a lot of water here. Okay. How are you still flowing? Oh, I was like, how is that possible? Still no dirt, but you know what? Now we don't have water. <gasps> There's dirt. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, come on. No, I need more dirt than that, dude. Okay, there's some up there, too. That's just kind of funny, like, how rare dirt is getting right when we really need dirt. Hmm. You know what? Sometimes the game just is not kind to you. All right, well, let me gather up this pocket of dirt. Yes, the entire... Oh, my God. Well, thank, thank the Lord I wasn't standing under that when I was mining the dirt, or I would have been toast. Why are you trying to do that to me, Minecraft? What? Ooh, is there more dirt down there? Okay, cool. All right, well, let me get this dirt. All right, so apparently the reason I am under here is that there is a uh, there's a big solar flare that just happened and it killed everything on the surface. And if I go up there right now, I will get killed as well. So I I can't go to the surface right now. That's that's the the made up reason I'm down here. Basically, if if I see sunlight, I die. So that's why I'm very weary about uh, breaking the sand up on the ceiling way up there somewhere because if the sunlight touches me, I'm dead basically so I'm trying to stay underground we're trying to sustain our environment we're having to bunker down in an apocalyptic situation under here and we really need to get food going and I really hope you guys are enjoying this because I've recorded all these in a row so far at least the first this is the second one so the first two are recorded in a row probably the first three I don't know how many I'll record in this session but I'm having a ton of fun underground I love this a lot I remember playing this when I was a kid and it was so much fun Okay, well, I got bored gathering dirt, and I think you're bored of watching me, so I'll finish. All right, looks like that's the end of the dirt pocket. And I really shouldn't be passing up iron as often as I am, so let me just gather this iron, too, and then we'll head back to the house. Finish our dirt project, which doesn't sound too exciting, but it's actually very exciting. So that was a large pocket of dirt. Uh, we have two, three stacks of dirt. That's actually really good. So let's get back up there and let's finish what we started. We're also very low on health and I really don't want to be down here and die. I think I'd be able to find my stuff from here, but I'd, I'd rather not draw, not try and uh, of not, not wait, not, not try to avoid death. Yes. That's what I try. That's what I'm trying to say. Not, not trying to avoid death because that would make the game kind of pointless. And look, there's a tree and more, a lot of grass. So it looks like we're in a spruce. By and wow, we have three trees under here. Okay. I'm actually extremely happy about that. Let me gather all the wood up. Looks like we can finally do some some beautiful expansions we've needed desperately because this place just looks like garbage right now. It's just literally a bare bones, stony, blocky structure that doesn't look good. I'm going to need another pickaxe stat. One, two, three. Let me put up everything too. That's not where that goes. I'm going to put up everything we don't need immediately. Okay, so we need the dirt, and we need to make another pickaxe, which the sticks are in here, and there's more iron in there. There's more iron in here for some reason, but there's coal. Oh, man, so many inventories getting open. Okay, we'll put a good bit of coal in there. Throw this up. We'll make the pickaxe. Finish the floor. That's, that's the objective. Can I stay on the objective? I think I can. All right, there we go. We have destroyed our other pickaxe, and now we have successfully dirted this whole room I don't know if that's what you really want to call it but you know what that's what we're gonna call it for now uh, thank God we have these apples it's the only source of food we've had thus far uh, we got one piece of wheat <laughs> and like I don't even know if that's all the way grown or not is it yes yeah, so, yes it was all the way grown so we have two beetroot seeds now great that one wheat plant only gave us one seed can we eat it Wow, half heart of health. Thank you so much. I really appreciate That was so generous of you. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I think you need to make beetroot soup, but I don't know how to make that. I, I really don't have any idea. I'm um, just trying to take a little, uh, little jab at looking at what we have because I want to start expanding, but I'm worried we're not going to have enough wood. Uh, but you know what? We can at least do some little stuff right now. So that's the problem with me. I like to use wood a whole lot for a ton of different reasons. Um, and I can't really get a whole ton of wood under here really quickly. So that's going to be one thing we have to do as a big tree farm off the bat. Okay. That's more than okay. And then we need some stairs as well. Please, please give me some stairs. Like three sets of stairs is perfect. And then maybe some more slabs. 
yeah, we'll call it good on that. And I don't have any planks, so just a couple planks. 20 planks is perfect. There we go. So we now got a nice little oak wood building set. That's what I like to start with. And then we could just sort of sort of go from there. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. Uh, first of all, we're going to try this and see how this looks. So we'll put some logs right there. Okay, that looks somewhat supportive. And then we're going to go up one with the entrance just to make it a little bit taller and give us some more room to work with here. And then we're going to expand that upwards. Perfect. And then we'll put a stair and a stair and then a fence and then a lantern, which we can get pretty easily. Just doop and doop. Uno lantern. Thank you. And we'll just hang that down. Oh, that's too low, though. So we're going to have to expand this one upward, which means we're going to have to put some more logs here. You see what I mean? I start to use way too much wood. <laughs> like a little bit too much, but it's okay, especially for the beginning. We don't need anything that fancy, but you know what? It just looks good. And you know what? We're going to put this here, even though it's completely unnecessary. There's never going to be rain here. It's just our brains associate that with, um, I don't know, a roof line, I guess. Because every bit of architecture in the world has that. You can't see these, so we'll just remove these. I'm going to be efficient about it. We will put just normal planks behind those. Okay. Looks good to me. Well, a lot better than it looked before, that's for dang sure. And then we'll just put a slab and a slab. Okay, nice. So we have an entrance to that. Uh, we don't really... Ha oh, actually, we have a good bit of resources still left over. Um, we're not going to keep the water pool right there forever. Don't worry. That's not going to be like a permanent thing. Uh, but if, if for at least right now, we'll just we'll, we'll keep it that way. So I'm going to put some fence there. See, that's just too low. I feel like that just kind of invades your personal space. But I don't want to expand the entire ceiling in here. But maybe at least to right there, we can expand it maybe a little bit further. Like to right there. Maybe. I don't know. I may end up making it bigger. I may not. Who knows? Uh, I'm trying to think. Okay, yeah. And then we'll just put these bad boys right there. And then we'll put like a stair and a stair. And then we'll put some slabs going over. And then we're going to have some fence right there. And then I also want to put some fence up here too. You may be wondering why. I don't really have a real reason uh, other than it, it just kind of looks good. And it also is inspiring me in other ways too. So we're going to put a nice staircase going up right here. I think that's the perfect height. Uh, no, one back. So we'll mark that one back. Put these here. I mean, yeah, building underground super fun because you're not really limited by how it looks from the outside. So you can pretty much do whatever kind of design you really want to do. Um, and I think we're just going to have another room up here. And this is going to be uh, kind of the fence blocking it. The only problem being that there's fence right there. Um, you can't really see it a whole ton, actually. So we're going to put a stair and a stair. And then we will just throw a slab right there. But we don't have any slabs yet. I told you I was going to make this whole thing look really good. I'm going to do my best to at least. I actually really like that. That's perfect. Um, and then these we can kind of expand upwards. Yeah, that looks good. Nice. Okay. And obviously this will be built back a little bit in the future. But for right now I'm just kind of deciding where everything is going to go. Uh, this should probably go to the edge. So we'll put a slab and then another fence. It doesn't, that doesn't have to be the edge though, that's the thing. You can make it as big or as small as you wanted to. Alright, let me expand this room a little bit back and I will meet you guys when I am done. Alright, so the only real issue that's kind of a non-issue that I experienced was that we kind of dug into our mine shaft unintentionally, but I think if we put some slabs right there and then some slabs, yeah, it's really not going to be a big deal. Uh, we just have to wait on the trees, which I foolishly didn't plant back. That was just a dumb move on my part. I'm going to try filling them in too. I'm not going to limit myself really. I'm going to try to make this just like as fast as possible. I doubt most of these trees will ever have the opportunity to grow. Uh, but if they do, that's all the better because I really want to get more wood because I have some great inspiration right now. But unfortunately, no way to really utilize it. I'm also going to transfer this infinite water source to be somewhere a little more appropriate. I think we'll just put it in the wall right here. Um, this farm will obviously be bigger just as, you know, as, a, as an as-needed type of deal because uh, we don't really have anywhere to put anything yet um, because we don't have any seeds uh, really at all. So we'll make sure we always have infinite water and then we will fill this guy in with some dirt, which we have gathered a healthy amount. Nice. That looks really good. Um, one thing on the ground I do want to do is some stairs and some stairs. 
Nice. And then if we had some, a lantern, you know what, we can actually make a lantern pretty easily here. So I don't want to make ever over make the lanterns in this because I don't have a whole ton of stuff. And uh, I would be kind of a fool to do it like that. Uh, you know what, actually, I think that's a perfect spot for a lantern. Mm. Yeah, I like it. Kind of breaks it up too, makes it look well. Uh, actually, you know what, that kind of is weird because the fence is... Hold on. They're, these little things are just kind of nitpicky things. Also, once the trees grow in here, maybe we'll transfer this to be our actual house. Um, we'll, we'll officially crown it the actual house at some point. But for now, we're just going to throw trees inside of it and just hope that they grow. Uh, so I was trying to think how I could really do this. And that's the floor. That's not the floor. Um, I don't really think there's a place we can put, we can put lanterns. Aside from maybe hanging them... No, see, I'm trying to find a spot, but I don't think I can. Because you, you can't put them on the bottom half of a stair. You can't put them right there. I could put a fence here and then hang the lantern. But that just looks like it's not hanging. Hmm. Let me think of something. Well, the answer was staring me in the face the entire time. I just thought of it in my head. Boom. <laughs> Why didn't I just do that from the beginning? I'll never know, but you know what? I'm happy I did it at all. Honestly. Okay, we're just going to throw these in the... Tr if we ever lose those saplings, we're kind of screwed. I'd like to always have oak wood, uh, but you can't always have it, I guess. This is also hanging, like, right above your head. I hate that, so we're going to have to fix it. I think we'll just hang it from... Um, where'd my lantern go? Hello? Thank you. Don't be dropping over there, man. That's... Can't get you there. There we go. And it also functions a lot better. Um, I just can't hang anything from here because it's technically a half slab down and they can't hang on the bottom half of a half slab Unfortunately, but you know what we're making progress slowly, but surely slowly, but surely uh, I'm gonna put some like supports in the corners here pretty soon Which means we have to move our spawn chest, but that's okay. looks like the trees are finally coming in pretty quickly I don't know if those two grew at the same time or one grew when I was turned around breaking the other one But we have two trees somehow, so I'm not gonna question it. We'll just gather those and I did another. Oh, I thought one just grew, but uh, you have to be careful with these um, because eventually you can kind of run out of oak trees without without noticing. And I don't want to be in that position. So uh, I know we have a good healthy oversupply, but I don't think I'll ever have too many. All right. So we've gotten all the saplings. I think I just kind of took a little break and sat in the corner there. Not everything decayed, but I can finish it up here pretty quickly. There's not too much left. Um, our wheat did grow all the way. Will we get more than one seed? I think yes. We actually got two seeds. Perfect. So our farm is now one bigger. <laughs> it's kind of starting off slow, but I guess that's okay. That's just how it goes sometimes. We got two things of wheat. Mmm, nice. Okay, so I don't want to let these chests get too out of hand off the bat, um, but I do know I'm going to have to move this thing sooner rather than later. So I'm going to put up everything in my inventory so that I do not mess this up. I want only what is, was in this chest to be in this chest, if that makes sense. So I'm going to take this, and we are just going to transfer it. We'll put it like... I don't really care where it is. It really doesn't matter. You know what? We'll put it... Mm, hmm. I'm trying to future-proof it because I kind of know what I want to do. I think I'm going to put it back in here. And you're probably saying, Neo, what are you doing? But... I'm going to put the chests in the wall. I don't want them to be where they are. So we'll just put everything up that was in there. Because I want to remember all the objectives I have. And everything that's in here is kind of perfect with what it's supposed to be. Alright, let's get all this stuff back. There's really not that whole ton, so don't worry. You're not going to have to watch me sort my inventory too long. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, now this right here is where I think I want to do some chests. So what I'm going to do is line the back with oak wood, which we actually are getting a good supply of. Uh, we also have an extra chest here too. So I can put the chest like right there. And then we can break this chest, which is going to be kind of painful. Ugh. Yeah, a lot of items in there. I did not pick up the chests either. Where are they? Hello? Come here. There we go. Boom. Okay, now we can just... Okay, perfect. Anything else? What else needs to go in here? Everything, pretty much, except the torches, I think. There we go. So I want to line the back. I'm going to take all the oak stuff out. I'm going to line the back with some planks, so I think I'll have to use most of those. And then we'll make some of these. We'll also make some of these. Perfect. 
Um, I just want to have like a bunch of everything. I don't want to like like when I'm building, I don't want to have to make anything. So I'm kind of just making stuff as needed. Okay. And we don't have any more logs, do we? No, but that's okay. All right. So now I got to get behind these chests, which is kind of kind of tricky. Um, and I need to put some slabs up here or some stairs that face backwards. Actually, that's going to be better. And then I need to fill all this in with oak wood planks so that it looks nice. And then we'll actually have a nice functioning like integrated chest area off the bat, which is a very good thing. It's a good feeling to make sure everything looks good. That's one thing that I feel like a lot of spooky noise, uh, a lot of YouTubers kind of neglect to do is they don't really make their, I don't know, they don't put that much effort into building the little things. Maybe I'm wrong and I just don't watch enough YouTubers. That's probably it. Uh, so just, just ignore me. Okay. There we go. And then as I get more planks, which I don't have any of, we can fill in the chests and it'll look nice. So I don't know what the walls are going to be exactly, but I know in the corners there's going to be oak wood logs. Now we don't have a whole ton of logs really yet, but as we gather them slowly but surely, we'll expand this place and make it look beautiful. All right, let me gather all these saplings. All right, well, as, as I gather the saplings, I'm going to leave you guys because it is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching episode 72. I hope you guys genuinely did enjoy it. We got a lot of progress done. This place is looking a lot better than it looked before. If to, to put it kindly, it looks a lot better than it did before. So I'm happy that we're making good, good progress. And I hope that we can continue making good progress as this little mini series inside the big series keeps going on. Again, I'll iterate it again. We are in the normal survival world that we've been on. If I were to ever change the world, I would make a new series and start from the beginning. But this is all part of one world, and this is going to be a big, beautiful addition to it. A nice underground area. Uh, but anyways, seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to enter the secret code if you want to get a heart from me. It's going to be 6285. So 6285 in the comments below will get you a heart from me, but you can also just say whatever you want, like any ideas, suggestions, anything like that, and I will um, heart them as well. I heart every comment, but I do like to see who watched till the end of the video. That's why I ask for the secret comments. It's not like, it's not some weird ploy or anything. I just want to see who watches to the end. Um, so if you want to help me out with that, you can, but if you don't, that's also okay. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this little mini series underground. I've been having a ton of fun with it so far. Uh, but that's just me. I'm a little biased. I'm the one doing it, I guess. But it is a nice refresh from the monotony of a tor normal, normal survival world. This is definitely a little bit different. Uh, but it's pretty fun. I think it looks kind of cool. Okay, we're going to do something here. I know it's kind of like a last minute thing. Uh, but I think that always looks pretty good. Yeah, nice little, nice little hidden area, I guess, for our furnaces. And then we can fill that in with more furnaces, I think. That would be better. Um, but yeah, leave a dislike or a like on this video, whether or not you actually want to see more. So if you want to see more of this underground area, please do leave a like on the video. That's how I'm going to know. And uh, if the likes beat the dislikes, I'll do more. If the dislikes beat the likes, I will do less. So let me know what you guys want to see. But just know I'm having a ton of fun with this. And uh, I was kind of getting burnt out of doing what we had been doing before. So that's why I decided to switch it up. And uh, yes, these torches also bother me. I'll fix. Oh, I will fix them. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow and more of this underground stuff, hopefully. And uh, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.